What's up EFD squad and welcome back. Today we're running through 10 players who need saving from their current club to get their careers back on track. Let's go. 10. Adnan Yanazai. Now 25, Adnan Yanazai is no longer a youngster, but we've seen enough from him over the years to suggest that he should be a regular starter in a top five league. After finally leaving Man United on a permanent basis in 2017, the Belgian had an impressive first season with Real Sociedad, becoming the side's main creator, leading the way for expected assists per 90. However, injuries disrupted his second campaign in San Sebastián, and the arrivals of Martin Odegaard in Porto in the summer of 2019 quickly turned him into a bench option. At the time of recording, Yanazai has made just six league starts this season, ranking 15th in the squad for minutes played, making his three assists all the more impressive. Amazingly, the former Red Devil has still never topped the game time he enjoyed in his breakout season at Old Trafford when he was just 18. But with Rome coming close to securing a deal for him in January, it shouldn't be long before Yanazai finds himself an able suitor. 9. Adamola Lookman Thanks to at Mike Vicio for suggesting this one on Twitter. Adam Ola Lookman has endured a difficult beginning to his football career. Universally recognised as a talented forward, the Englishman has unfortunately not seen this translate into regular playing time. In fact, since his move from Charlton to Everton in 2017, Lookman has never been given more than 600 league minutes in a single campaign. He once seemed set for superstardom, scoring in a famous 4-0 win over Guardiola's Man City with practically his first touch for the Toffees. And even when opportunities became limited at Goodison Park, he impressed greatly during a loan spell at RB Leipzig, where he averaged a goal or an assist every 72 minutes in 2018. But since returning to the Bundesliga club on a permanent basis in July 2019, Lookman hasn't had a look in. Clearly unfancied by coach Julian Nagelsmann, the 22-year-old has made just one bully start all season, with some speculating that his role as an inside forward doesn't fit in with the side setup, especially with Timo Werner dominating matters. Lookman may need to wait for the German talisman to up sticks before finding himself on the team sheet. Otherwise, he needs to plot a swift escape. But before we move on to our next player, just a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button down there and the notification bell so you never miss another great EFD video like this one. You won't regret it. 8. Florentino Luiz Thanks to Has Karim on Twitter for suggesting Florentino Luiz, who is one of the most highly rated young defensive midfielders in Europe right now. However, you'd be forgiven for thinking otherwise, considering he hasn't played any league football since November, having been frozen out of a Benfica squad targeting a second successive Liga Nosh crown. While injury kept the 20-year-old out of five matches towards the start of the season, Florentino has simply been dropped for the last three months, despite manager Bruno Lage continually backing him when speaking to the press. Furthermore, the club have been unwilling to sell the Portugal under-21 international, despite him garnering interest from the likes of Milan, Man United and Man City, with a 120 million euro release clause also hanging above his head. The January signing of Julian Weigl has made it even more difficult for the Lisbon-born DM to find a way into the squad, and it's not like they couldn't do with him. He still ranks first in the squad for tackles and interceptions with an outrageous seven per game, and they have been less than watertight since Weigl entered the side, letting in six goals in their last three league outings at the time of recording, the same amount they had conceded in their previous 18 matches combined. The choice is simple, bring Florentino back into the fold or let him leave in the summer. He is frankly too big a talent to waste. 7. Ricky Puch one of the most highly rated players to emerge from La Masia in recent years, Ricky Puch was promoted to the Barcelona first team in December 2018, bagging an assist on his debut in the Copa del Rey. But he was otherwise largely ignored by Ernesto Valverde during the manager's tenure at the Camp Nou, and only recently found his way back into the senior squad following the appointment of Kike Setien. However, at the time of recording, the talented midfielder is back with Barca B, having been limited to two short sub-appearances by the former Real Betis boss. This means that despite turning 20 last summer, Puch is still playing almost all of his football in the Spanish third tier, not a place for someone of his stature and age profile. Often compared to Blaugrana great Andres Iniesta, the youngster has previously been told by the man himself that sticking with the reserve side is the best way to prove himself on the Catalan coast. 
This advice seems to have been taken on board by Putsch, who in December 2019 insisted he would remain patient and stay put. However, Academy Director Patrick Clivert has suggested a loan move is vital for his development, and we would have to agree with the Dutchman. 6. Luka Jovic OK, so this one is probably a bit too early to call, but equally there is only so long Luka Jovic can wait for his chance at Real Madrid. At 22 years old, the Serbian international still has time to forge his name into the starting lineup at the Bernabeu. But Zinedine Zidane has shown little trust in him so far. At the time of recording, he has clocked up just five starts in less than 500 minutes in La Liga and Europe. Bought for 60 million euros from Eintracht Frankfurt last summer, Jovic ranks as Real's seventh most expensive signing ever. However, with Karim Benzema playing more minutes than anyone else in the Marengas squad this term, it's clear the Frenchman is still seen as the side's most important attacking player. And he probably is, with over 40% of their league goals scored or assisted by him. Benzema surely can't keep it up for too much longer though, and the fact he turns 33 this year should be encouraging for Jovic's chances of breaking into the side long term. But despite Zidane's insistence that he is the future of the team's attack, the talk of a move for Kylian Mbappe just never goes away. If it does materialise, the Madrid forward line will surely be too stocked for Jovic to become its figurehead, and we've no doubt there'll be a host of clubs willing to give him a second shot at the big time. 5. Juan Foyth 2019-20 felt like the season Juan Foyth would solidify his place in the Tottenham back line. Vertonghen and Alderweireld were both entering the final years of their contracts, and that summer the club's financial resources were primarily used to upgrade in midfield. Add to this the sale of Kieran Trippier, and it seemed like Foyth, who can also play at right back, would have a clear run at regular first team football. After all, the 22-year-old led the Spurs squad for tackles and interceptions per 90 last term. However, an ankle injury kept him out of the first six weeks of the season, and minutes were almost impossible to come by thereafter, with the hiring of Jose Mourinho in November further hindering the progress of the young defender. When the Portuguese coach finally gave Foyth his first league start of the season against Norwich a month after his appointment, he blew his chance to impress losing the ball in the build-up to the first goal, with Spurs going into half-time 1-0 down. The Argentinian was replaced at the break and hasn't seen a minute of action since, a grim situation all too familiar with players who fall victim to Mourinho's cutthroat management style. If he stays frozen out until the end of the season, pushing for a move away in the summer is imperative. 4. Daniel Rigardi Thank you to at Palmoral on Twitter for suggesting this one. Like Juan Foyth, Daniel Rigardi was once a promising young defender hoping to make it at a top European club, and he really had the world at his feet. At 20 years of age, he played every minute of the 2014-15 campaign, helping guide Empoli to safety in Serie A and earning himself a recall from parent club Juventus, where he was seen as the future of the club's defence. Five years later though, and Rigardi is struggling to even get a game in Turin. 26 this year, the Italian centre-back still has four years left on his contract, but has only been handed four appearances by Maurizio Sarri, with a 32-year-old Leonardo Bonucci leading the squad for minutes played. Not even a long-term injury to Giorgio Chiellini could open up a space for Rigani, and following the 75 million euro acquisition of Matthijs de Ligt, it's clear who is now considered the old lady's future defensive leader. With the likes of Chelsea, Arsenal and Roma all linked with his signature in the past, we wouldn't be surprised to see a man who has made just 17 league appearances since the start of last season leave in the summer. However, whether any club can secure him for a decent price is another matter. 3. Herving Lozano Tipped to leave the Eredivisie for bigger and better things from almost the moment he joined PSV in 2017, Herving Lozano finally got his move to a top five league two years later, with Napoli spending 40 million euros to bring the Mexican forward to Serie A last summer. In doing so, they made him the club's second most expensive signing ever, but seven months down the line and he isn't the talismanic figure many hoped he would be. In fact, Lozano has been one of the main victims of the chaos in Naples this season. Admired by Carlo Ancelotti for his attacking versatility, Lozano was drafted into the starting lineup quickly, playing on the right of a front three and as a centre forward. But goals and assists have been hard to come by for Chucky, and following Ancelotti's sacking in December, the 24-year-old has hardly been on the pitch, with Gennaro Gattuso preferring to use a 4-3-3 with Callahan on the right and Milik up top. 
Lozano is yet to start a league game under the former Milan coach, and with Matteo Politano and Andrea Patagna joining the part on a pay in January, he faces even more competition for a starting place. With a manager as stubborn as Gattuso, his predicament may not change any time soon, in which case he could link back up with Ancelotti, with Everton rumoured to be plotting a move this summer. 2. Phil Foden No doubt a pick which will have you all debating down in the comments, opinion on Phil Foden's future at Man City is decidedly split right now. Still only 19, the young Englishman has been talked about as a future superstar for the last four years but despite impressing when he's been on the pitch, has made just five Premier League starts since being fully integrated into the senior squad in 2017. For Pep Guardiola to insist on keeping hold of the Stockport-born youngster, while other talented academy products such as Jade and Sancho have been allowed to leave the Etihad for small money, is an indication of the great potential Foden has. And his record in limited minutes is very good. In the league and in Europe, he has contributed to a goal every 142 minutes over the last three campaigns, with his best displays coming in the group stages of this season's Champions League, where he bagged two goals and two assists. But the prevailing feeling is that Guardiola doesn't trust Foden enough to start him regularly. When he is in the lineup, he is usually the first to be brought off and is often used as a sub in the final 20 minutes of games, which are already won. With David Silva retiring in the summer, more chances will surely come his way. But a regular starting berth is still no guarantee. A loan switch like those which benefited his countrymen, Tammy Abraham and Mason Mount, is surely in order. 1. Brahim Diaz Unlike Foden, Brahim Diaz was deemed surplus to requirements at Man City, making his way to Real Madrid in January 2019. But like his former teammates, the young Spaniard is keen to fight for his place at the Bernabeu rather than be shipped out on loan. At the time of recording, the Malaga-born attacking midfielder has played just 23 minutes of La Liga football in 2019-20, 10 times less than the next most deprived player in the squad, number two keeper Alfonso Areola. And according to reports, Madrid were open to letting the 20-year-old leave on loan in January, with nearby Hetafe interested in taking him on board, but he has been reluctant to move. And in the long term, it could prove difficult to get Diaz out of the Spanish capital. His contract contains a 750 million euro release clause, which is higher than Lionel Messi's at Barcelona. Right now, it looks like he is holding himself prisoner at the Bernabeu. If he wants to develop his game properly, he will need persuading that going to a smaller club and playing regular minutes would represent a step forward rather than back in his career. So those were our 10 players that need saving, but can you name any more? Let us know in the comments below and maybe we'll do a part two nearer the summer. If you enjoyed this, why not click on screen right now and check out the latest Stat Wars. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.